Here, show us how you've got all this rigged up. I have uh, the Dr. Rhythm DR110 triggering the uh, Korg sequencer, which is running the MS-20. So I'm using the MS-20 as a kind of low-end bass sound. And this is a sequencer for those who don't know. And then I can just change these parameters to, to change the notes. Baseline that you've put together. That's nice. <laughs> and then I also have the the bass running into the Mooger Fuger low pass mm -hmm. just for that growl. The drum machine audio is running through these so I can kind of trick it out later. Um, this is running the Korg Monopoly arpeggiator. Right. So, all right, I got this going, and I'll show you how to go. So, let me throw some drum. Always keep this on tap right, so I can just have fun without thinking about it too much. There's no MIDI. FX 1000, yeah, awesome machine. They sent it to me years ago, and then I never really used it until a friend of mine came over. He's like, "Dude, you got the yes?" I was like, "Yeah." He started messing with it. I'm like, "Oh man, it's so much in there I can use." So I never really thought about uh, as a DJ in the clubs I use it, but not as much as uh, I use it in the studio now. It's nice to break up the polyrhythms a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So it's fun, man. It has a little memory loop thing. So. so then I can hit. Or you can just, if you just want it real quick. apply that to any effect. Francois K uses it a lot. So yeah. A nice pre-midi, sort of like pre-1984 or 1984 rig. Yep. Here is where it all begins, the JX3P. Yeah. The first two midi keyboards. Oh, really? And then eventually that goes over into uh, oh, okay. just tracking into Ableton. Not that it really matters yeah. in this case because you're just tracking audio. But then I 
figure out the BPM, and then I can just put it in like. First century over on this side of the studio. Yeah. And it's easy, I just boom, record all four channels.